So we have uh, walked our way into this conversation. <laughs> it's all good. Real quick, Mr. Al Pete, NPN Network, Think Bold Conference Networking and Mixer. 2024 will be the second annual. It's going to be dope, man. Please make sure you check it out. It's going to be dope, 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 dope. Please introduce yourself. Let us know what you're about. Um, I'm getting, I'm, you're going you're to let me know everything because I, I was told by some great people that I should interview you. Oh, well, thank you for having me. Yeah, um, so let's get this to is it. like perfect timing for me because I have like timings, everything in life. And for myself, first of all, my name is Raina Kashima. Um, like I said, I just retired from the military in July of this year. Okay. So very, very fresh. Um, still kind of going through transitional um trauma I would say from just being my whole adult, adult career being in the military to now being a you know finding roots somewhere right. and I chose Jacksonville as uh, where I want to stay primarily because of the art community I think the creative community I, I can't just call visual arts the art community it's it's what you're doing right now I mean I just feel like the community really is you know uplifting and I showed my um, artwork for the first time in February of this year and I think that's really what locked in my decision to stay in Jacksonville because of the local artists and the local people like really supporting the creativity and rooting us on while we create you know even on Instagram and people are constantly rooting us on so it's something that a uh, community aspect that I've never actually had within my personal life or what we call civilian life because we were in the military for so long but right, right, um, right. it's it's very comforting to know that like I feel accepted here I have a place here I have a voice here and um, this is new for me like I've never even had the chance to have like friends in my hometown and long life friends it's always like come and go like I have acquaintances all over the place because I've traveled so much but now it's like I feel I like feel pretty home, good here in the community. And rooted. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it. I love it. Especially like even just somebody recognizing my artwork. It's, and you have it's, artwork. Yeah, I have the Andre three thousand and the um, big boy piece in there. <laughs> but I just started two years ago. Um, Kim, I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't mean to interrupt you, but yeah, you're good. Um. Oh my god. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of looking away because. Um, one of my homies, shouts out to RD Music, mm -hmm. we were setting everything up. He was oh. like, he was like, yo, did you see the Andre 3000 bit? No, first off, <laughs> he has a beat that he played for me that he made in 2018. He literally played it before we started this. Dang. And um, it has a, a sample that Outkast used for, wow, what's the name of the song? I think it was a- uh, You know what? I think I met your friend. He was telling me, I mean, he was, he was going- The one with the camera, right? Yes, he so was he, going through rabbit holes of like, yeah, so he, he's about it. So he he played the beat and it had an Outcast uh, sample. Um, it was a uh, skewed on the Barbie mm -hmm. that song, and he sampled that song Dang. into a beat that he made. I'm like, yo, I want to buy that beat. And then he said, did you see the hundred fifty thousand big boy <laughs> thing? And then literally we was like sitting there going through your IG. Dang. Like when it when you cut the light off, it glows. Yeah. Like the I just added that this morning at like oh nine a.m. this morning. Really? Yeah. I, like. They're talking about the, with the black light, right? Yes. I'm like a I'm I'm a nocturnal artist, so <sighs> to to be a hundred percent like transparent Jesus. right now, I haven't been to sleep today because we set up the art show. But I'm I'm working off of like passion and adrenaline like all night. Like nighttime is my creative hour. For sure. For and sure. this morning I was like, I wanna I wanna post something. What can I do? So I was like, oh, okay, I think I'm ready to add the UV paint. So I just did it really quick and made the reel this morning. It was it was a lot of fun. Oh my those God. those high points are kind of what I look for. I just had an art show with um, a good friend of mine. Her name's Taka Miyagi. She's another Japanese American artist, which I haven't been able to find too many Asian American artists to actually connect with. But she's somebody that I really connected with, and she she invited me to go to Atlanta, and we had a show in Atlanta. Okay, okay. And I was so inspired by it in the mural, the um, Jex and see, I think the the famous mural in in um, Outcast mural in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. You gotta see it if you haven't no, seen I'm it. No, I'm sorry. I took a, Man, I took millions of pictures in front of me. I went in front of that mural. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I don't even know why I'm cheating myself because I know my specialty is black and white and realism, and I'm over here like thinking. I wish I could paint all these colors, but I was just like, you know what? They stuck to the the 
the quality of the picture and I'm gonna do that and that's kind of how I got inspired to paint Big Boy and Andre and Outcast. Oh my God. Let's well, <laughs> and I'm over here fanning out. My my mind is like blowing up millions of times like family guy blow up, you know, like random blow up. But that's up. with anybody. I will paint anybody for you. Just like that. So but even, if you but guys it, Well let me explain my yeah. my Andre th- okay. well my Outcast first off they're like my favorite group ever. Me too. And Big That's Boy why I painted is, them. Big Boy is like my favorite like hip hop artist. I've been following them for a long time, and I think for anybody to express, you know, music in that regard, yeah. and hearing you say that you just threw the UV coating yeah. on it like today, because we was looking at it like no, you had this di- morning, yeah. Because we was looking I mean, at your IG, and the IG said probably it was like a twenty twenty one. I think. Yeah. Did you start it on it like? Mm-hmm. Sh- I started in, just to put things into perspective, I started in when I was 17, and I stopped completely, and I joined the military, and then I'm going to be 40 this year. Okay. But then I, I just thought to myself, like, man, I'm going to get out. What am I going to do? Like, I have a chance. I've worked so hard in my career to be able to do something for myself, and I just felt like I wanted to get into... I didn't want to be in the noise of everything, right. to be honest. Like, I, the, the, the thing that keeps on going through my mind is I don't want to work for the man anymore. I want to work for me and mm. what do I love. And mm. that's that's my control mechanism, I guess, on the creative aspect. But um, professionally, I'm still new. So it's like I have a lot to learn on the business side. And um, just these, these social events and intermingling with people, mm. the demographic of people... This is a big topic. The demographic of people that would even buy my artwork, where is that? Mm. Is it at this kind of social? Like, is it going to be at Art Basel? Is it going to be at a museum exhibit? Like, how do how do you get exposure as an artist if you're too loud or you're too urban or you're too whatever? All art is not the same. Mm-hmm. People like what they like. So right. it's like, right. how, do, how do you get in where you fit in type thing? So right. art is challenging in that aspect, I would say. Yeah, and that challenging. I mean, it, well, in that part, yes, it is challenging. Yeah. The artist in general is such a, uh, I mean, when it's in it, it's, when you thrive in it, it's great. Mm-hmm. But like the <laughs> challenges of like the demographics, like. Or the should, exposure. The exposure. Yeah. Should you go to Art Basel or, or, right. or should you go to the Kama Arts Museum? Right, like, exactly. Those locals. This, how, how are the locals going to support you? What's right. more meaningful? All of that. All you of know, that. You wanna, do you want to get famous fast or do you want to have like real like love and support like from the community behind you? So I think I'm trying to do both at the same time right now. But it's like I said, it's all at the beginning. Listen, I, I I mean, well, we're here to support Jacksonville, the art scene for, for uh, specifically yeah, in Jacksonville. I love is like it. very, they support each other like crazy. I so know, you're, I in a, you're in a, you're in a. I'm here because of it, and there's other artists that I've talked to that have stayed in Jacksonville because they felt the 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 local support and it. They were inspired to actually create. Yeah. So that's that's pretty powerful. That something that we have as a community. Um, in Jacksonville. It's just something I've never, ever experienced in my life. So I love it. I love I'm, it. I'm grateful to be here. Indeed, indeed. And we're, <laughs> we're grateful to have you. Oh, thank you. So, um, this, uh, well, we're going to wrap this up because okay. I don't want to hold you too long, yeah, but I do have a question. I can ramble too long. So no, it's fine. I mean, whatever. well, the fact that it ends at a certain time, yes. like we got to get out of here. Um, when you hear the word, think, uh, the phrase, words, think bold, what, what, do, you, what do you think about? What comes with comes to mind first uh you know what to be 100 percent honest i it's not necessarily thinking bold it's i think it's thinking back to my minority roots or just being coming from immigrant parents is that when you come to this country the textbook doesn't matter because you were taught a textbook in a different country um you don't speak the same language and you literally start macgyvering shit it's it's fight or flight and thinking bold to me is thinking outside of societal norms so using things as resources that you would not normally use so that's the innovative way to like really just branch out and like explode in my mind and if you're really passionate about it just do it every day and don't worry about anybody else right so that's my and philosophy. The, and the, yeah, and the keys, the keys will come to you at some point. The keys, it will. The I mean, sometimes they, you're the universe there forever, will for, but it comes. Right, right. Okay, well, let the people know where they can find you at, find your work. 
Well, I'm on Instagram. My Instagram name is at r.cash with a K dot art. Um, I have Facebook too, but m mostly Instagram. So hit me up on Instagram. I like to try to stay um, consistent. So um, progress videos, anything that you guys want. If you guys want to, uh, any commissions, just let me know. We can do a consultation over the phone. But uh, thank you for having me. Uh, I, I look forward to future opportunities in Jacksonville, oh, and I'm happy to be here. We are we are, we are on your <laughs> radar right now, man. That, that, that Andre 3000 and Big Boy. Oh, thank you. I think it's beautiful. So, Mr. Al Pete, NPN Network, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Thank Bold, all that great stuff. We are out of here. Peace.